I would like to welcome my EdTech students in this another content of our course. I would like now to share with you the presentation that will help me discuss the content of this uh, topic. Okay, so I just would like to continue my discussion about the safety issues on the use of ICT in our previous meeting. So we just would like to review some part of this discussion because I think I had already discussed this during the meeting. So MC technology or technology is a phenomenon that seems to be uncontrollable. Despite the so many benefits for teaching and learning, there are also negative effects or influence on the learners. Hence, as future teachers, you have to be aware of how to safeguard learners in the school communities where they spend most of their waking hours and also in their homes or facilities that provide opportunities to use digital technologies like the internet cafes. Safeguard and protection should be the primordial role of parents, teachers, and schools. And there are so many risks that we have to be aware of in the use of digital technologies. So I had already mentioned the following, but I just have to uh, see it again as a review. And then I'll be continuing the, the other parts of this uh, presentation no? na hindi ko pa na-discuss in our previous meeting. Anyway, so those are the exposure to inappropriate content, including the online pornography, extremism, that's exposure to violence associated with racist language. So since we cannot control the the content that our young ones might be able to be exposed no, in the internet, uh, we must educate them how to avoid those websites or maybe we shall be having much effort no, to watch over them no, as they browse the cyberspace or the internet. Next is lifestyle website, like our websites like self-harm and suicide sites and hate sites. They're not supposed to be exposed to those content. We also have cyberbullying in all forms, receiving sexually explicit images or messages. So all of us have experienced this and uh, we should know how to safeguard ourselves, no? especially the young ones who are uh, who cannot no? really protect themselves in this uh, kind of content. Next, we have privacy issues, including disclosure of personal information. We have to be, uh, we have to take good care of our, our personal information para hindi tayo maging biktima later ng fraud at kung ano pang mga uh, cyber crimes. Also, the health and well-being, the amount of time spent online, the internet gaming, and many more. So, teachers are also spending so much time in the use of computer and internet to prepare their materials for the class and you also students are spending so much time for your online learning you know, to comply all the course requirements of your program and for the young ones they are so engaged you know, many of them i know so engaged with the online gaming okay so it's hard to control them but we should not let them be be addicted or get addicted to those uh, activities also, we have this prolonged exposure to online technologies, particularly at an early age, as much as possible. Our siblings, no? our friends, no? especially if your, your uh, children to be, no? don't uh, let them expose or expose so, so long on the internet or on the computer. Addiction to gambling and gaming. So, marami nang sisirang buhay due to gambling and gaming no? in the internet. So, habang hindi pa kayo na expose on those activity as much as possible no we avoid it ngayon pa lang because uh, kumbaga nagsisimula yan sa simpleng try lang and try lang simpleng try ng isang game or gamble gambling or isang sugal no then we'll get addicted to it next we have theft and fraud from activities such as fishing so yun yung sinasabi ko kanina never uh, provide your personal information, especially confidential information, no? especially your bank account, uh, your uh, credit card, and so on, because pwede tayong maging victims of phishing. No? Next, we have viruses, trojans, spyware, and other malware. So we are so happy, feeling natin nanalo tayo kapag we are able to download free applications, free content online no? we don't know that there are possibilities of 
uh, gaining or uh, having the sort of spywares and malwares na may sumasama pa lang mga virus sa ating uh, pag-download na pwedeng makasira ng ating system ng computer natin. Next, we have social pressures to maintain online networks via texting and social networking sites. So that's about no feeling mo kapag hindi ka pa uh, wala kang social media account, wala kang Facebook account, you are not in. No? Tapos feeling mo if you don't engage to those activities online, to those social media sites, uh, you are not already, you don't belong. No? That's not your true value. No? We have to help our young ones, no? explain to them, educate them about our true value. No? It, it doesn't follow no? the, the engagement that you have in your social media activities no? doesn't speak of uh, your real uh, value. Next, we have the following. The minor misuse of ICT. In school, some minor misuse made by learners include the following. Copying information into assignments and failing to acknowledge the source. We call it plagiarism and copyright infringement. So that's true no? to the students because I've experienced that in my students. Kinapipaste na lang nila yung kanilang assignment. May man nga binasa. No? Didn't even put a citation there or didn't specify the name of this, the, the author or didn't include the, the source. And that is actually the what go plagiarism no we misuse ICT because it's free and it's accessible feeling natin tama yung ginagawa natin na mag copy paste na lang ng mga content we don't know we don't uh, follow the, the legal way no of doing such uh, activities no next is downloading materials not relevant to their studies so kahit hindi kahit hindi siya importante mga movies or uh, music na hindi naman kailangan sa pag-aaral sa online learning na binadownload minsan din na nagawa yung assignment because mas inuna yung mga other uh, unrelevant or not relevant uh, activities no? na materials na binadownload no? from the internet. Misconduct associated with subject logins such as using someone else's password. So minsan yung iba ginagamit, maghamit ng password ng iba no? using other, other accounts to, to work on their uh, uh, requirements no? so we don't know their uh, reason why they are doing that but that's exactly a clear misconduct or a clear uh, parang, parang uh, you are abusing someone's uh, someone's account or you're gina abuse natin yung parang uh, paggamit, paggamit ng ICT no? we misuse no, the, the ICT by that manner Next, we have leaving a mobile phone turned on during class period. So that's why uh, in some schools, they are not allowing the use of cell phones during class because it distracts or interrupts the class. Next, we have unauthorized taking of pictures or images with mobile phone camera still are moving. Okay, so we have to protect the, the data privacy of uh, everyone we are not supposed to take pictures or image of anyone unless you ask permission or you are authorized to do so and so on so under concern with all the above concerns and many more how do we confront all of this to protect our future debt generations so these are the CE safety rules no? we are to consider this so that we'll be able to safeguard and protect our uh, youth no? or our future generation. So e-safety takes not only uh, of the internet technologies, but also of electronic communications via mobile phones, games, consoles, and wireless technology. So they are the, what we call e-safe, uh, electronic uh, ICT, or those are the, the things that we are to consider in in what's this in ICT it highlights the need to educate children and young people about the benefits the risks and responsibilities of using information technologies some are the issues of uh, e-safety so first we have e-safety helps safeguard children and young people in the digital world okay next 
ECP emphasizes learning to understand and new technologies in a positive way. So when we see ECP, uh, that means we are to uh, educate our young people as to what content they are to access in the internet. We are to monitor their activities online. We make sure that they are not exposed to those uh, unsuitable content at their age. Okay. Also, uh, we have to, this is what we call emphasize learning to understand and new technologies in a positive way. That means uh, we are to make use of the technology in a positive uh, way. We are to make uh, use of it for a good purpose, not for for otherwise, like abusing or misusing the, the technologies, no? like uh, the ones mentioned earlier that we copy paste, no? we download, although it's not necessary. So we make use of the technology in a negative way if we are to continue doing such uh, activities. Next, we have e-safety educates children about the risks as well as the benefits so we can feel confident online. So that means we also have to educate the, the children no, about the possible risks that they might uh, be having if they're exposed to such content. Okay, and uh, so that uh, although we are not there watching their activities, we are already, uh, we are have this what go uh, peace of mind, no? if they'll, if we'll let them work on their own online. We have to educate them what to avoid, no? uh, what the things are, what are the things that can be done, what are those, the only things, no? or the, the good things that they can do. Okay, the things that they will be accessing online, something like that we, we, we have to orient them, no? how to use properly the computer or the ICT. E-safety supports young learners and adults develop safer online behaviors, both in and out of schools. So we have to support them to develop online uh, behavior or safer online behaviors, like uh, not... Uh, being engaged to this what we call flame war, yung makipagsagutan ka there sa, sa comment section or kapag nasa discussion group ka, okay, you are parang uh, initiating this what we call uh, away, no? Parang nag-create ka ng away there sa, sa discussion group or even sa chat, no? We must uh, be responsible in the things that we are uh, engaging no in the internet especially kapag we are interacting with a group of people or with with uh, anybody online next we have privacy and security so privacy policies are in an issue most commercial sites have a privacy policy when someone uses a site and clicks i agree it is as if you have turned over private information to any authority that may have accessed it okay so that's about uh, another issue about the uh, privacy and security so just like in any websites uh, kahit, kahit sa pag open mo pala ng site parang meron din siya na nag-appear na if if you are to continue browsing the site uh, you have to agree with the terms and condition of that particular site no just like say at the website you, you try to visit the site and uh, there the, the data privacy terms and conditions or agreement appears no so if you want to continue uh, uh, browsing the site visiting the site okay because they might be asking you some uh, information that they need if there is uh, a transaction that you want to make no on that particular site then you are willing no, to to you are submitting yourself no your your privacy over them no, the information that you provide on that site that's also true with the other websites especially in social me media sites no wherein you have to create an account or you will be creating an account there's always this what we call privacy agreement or terms and conditions but we don't read it no kay ang haba so we just surrender to them para maka-create tayo ng account sa kahit anong website. So usually that's our behavior, no? our, 
our disposition when when uh, in it when it comes to privacy and security. Okay, so that would be all for our content about the issues in the privacy and security on the use of ICT. So see you in our next lecture video. Thank you and God bless everyone.